Next up, the latest USDA crop progress report shows 95% of Nebraska's winter wheat has emerged, with 39% of the crop rated good to excellent. To get a better idea of the crop status across the state and to discuss any potential challenges, we spoke with UNL's resident wheat expert, Stephen Benzinger, earlier this week at Havelock Research Farm in Lincoln. Well, what I would say is the Nebraska wheat crop is looking better than we deserve. Uh, you know, the last report that I saw, I think there was 36% good, 3% excellent, which means roughly 40% of the crop is in good shape. I think the next big category was fair, which would be probably, I think, in the 40%. Not a lot of poor or very poor, which is, that's the one you really worry about. A lot of things can happen if you get some moisture. Uh, wheat is one tough crop. But to have at least 40% good to excellent and probably over 80% fair to excellent is, is still pretty good. Except for that one cold snap a few weeks back when we got some snow, you know, overall fall has actually been fairly pleasant. So how does that set us up for what we could see in the spring with the winter wheat crop? Well, frankly, the cold snap I remember, I think was relatively early. There was a good freeze relatively early in October, and that's wonderful. Because what that does is it kills some of the pests of wheat. So there's a, a, a small wasp called Hessian fly, which is a nasty pest. And as soon as you freeze, it kills it. And in fact, when the wheat germinates, it's resistant to it. And then if you have the freeze after it germinates, it's even perfect. It's even better. So that's really good. After that, it was warm, which allowed us to basically get in on time. A lot of the soybeans got out on time, so it meant that the soybeans came off, the wheat got in, and then it was mild. So you get really very good establishment before the, the winter, and that's really what counts. Any diseases that gave growers trouble last year that you think we could see down the line this year? Well, the main diseases that you worry about in the fall are all virus diseases. They would be wheat uh, soilborne mosaic virus. We have a lot of resistant cultivars, so that shouldn't be an issue. If you had a really late spring or late fall, you could get barley yellow dwarf. I think that freeze helps uh, push back the aphids, so I don't expect a lot of that. And then you can also get uh, a little bit of soilborne mosaic virus, but again, I don't think we're gonna have much of that. They'll all be coming in in the spring. You may have seen in the November WASDE report how ending stocks are forecast to be down 15% from what they were last year. So when you couple that with where wheat prices are, does that play any part in how growers should be managing the crop? Well, I, I guess I'm not the one to ask a good economics question because I have trouble balancing my checkbook. But I, I think the rule of thumb would be if you're down in your wheat stocks, it means that there's less cushion so that you're not competing against last year's crop as much as you normally are. So to me, I would manage the wheat for where you think the price should be. And so, you know, if you think the price is relatively reasonable, and if you think that you could get a good price for protein, then you might want to watch your fertilizer pretty carefully, make sure you've got that. And we're learning a lot about fertilizer. Sulfur's helping a lot with nitrogen now because we don't have the air pollution that used to give us all the sulfur. So I would manage the crop, you know, on the, on, I would watch the price, I would see which way you think it's going, you know, talk to your consultants, that kind of thing, get the best information you can, and then manage the crop to make it as profitable as you can. Any final recommendations for us? Well, I, what I would say is, you know, to me, this crop looks beautiful. You know, it's, it's tillered out. The way I look at wheat is the, the savings account is the seed. Once it germinates, it uses up the savings account. But as soon as it gets through the surface and it greens up, and you start seeing the green leaves, then it starts putting reserves back into the crown to get through the winter. And once it, uh, if you have a good establishment like this, your winter survivability should be much higher than if you had a very poor establishment. And, and in this case, we've got moisture underneath. It's dry on the surface, but good moisture underneath. So I think we're setting up extremely well. Now we have a lot of season left to go. You know, I mean, we have, could have a really warm January followed by a brutal spring. And if that happens, the wheat will green up, then it gets frozen back. And a lot of the reserves that it's putting in right now will be lost. But that's, you know, let's not worry about it yet. But when, we'll see how the weather goes. But right now, I'd say the wheat crop 
where you have moisture like this, it looks excellent. <laughs>